I'm speaking about you. You hear me? Yes. You hear me? Amen. There was a lady you trusted. And it's like you're st- because of what you're going through, you are trying to open up. So now, stop these things. When you have got issues, pray. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Pray, pray. Amen. God is the only one that can bring solution to problems. Amen. Not a friend. Amen. Yes, man, she's no longer working. That's what I'm telling you. Amen. That it's like your wife will lose her job. Amen. Because of what is happening. Yes. You must not worry. Amen. This is a week of restoration. Amen. The lady who took your money, you must forgive her. Thank you. You hear me? Yes. The lady who took your money, you must forgive the lady. Okay. You hear me? Thank if you. If you forgive the lady, God will prosper you. Amen. Forgiveness is the key as a Christian. Amen. You know, if someone steals from you, you know, and you see that the person doesn't have the ability to pay you, you leave them. Amen. You hear me? Yes. Mm, forgive the lady. Amen. I believe God will prosper you. Thank you. The lady called Mandy. Is Mandy her name, Mama? Yes, yes, it's Mandy. Mandy is her name, right? Yes. Mm, forgive the lady. Thank you. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Cherry's Missionary Church. This is our Sunday prophetic service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophet T. E. Makananisa. And with me here today is my sister, who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono, who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Megi Avanthai. I'm from Rambek. Yes. So today during the service, Prophet Andres Simono located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. A man of God, Prophet Andres, uh, prophesied to me that there is a lady who ran away with my money. My money. Then I must forgive him. I must forgive her. Then God will pros- prosper me. Then and he mentioned also her, na- her name, and and uh, he says her name is Mendy, which is true. Yes. Uh, then I says to him. To him, a man of God, I say I will, I will, I will forgive him in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, I'll forgive him. Sorry. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and advised you to, you know, forgive somebody who's been owing you money? I was, I was feeling good because you know always, uh, it, it when I, when I think of her, I was just say a, a, a lady that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm, ca- I'm, I'm coming, I'm giving her a lift to church. How can she run away with my money? We were doing business together and she ran away with my money. Then I, I didn't, I, it didn't uh, uh, suit me good, you know. But today I'm free, I'm happy because a man of God said uh, I must forgive her. And indeed I will forgive her. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Where is your husband? Huh? You must pray for him. Yes. You hear me? Yes. Satan is fighting your house. Yes. I'm it's telling true. you. Very true. I'm seeing a spirit of suspicions. It's like you are starting to suspect each other. Yes. Huh? Yes. You have got children together? Yes. Mm. You know, if sometimes when you speak with people, you must be careful. Yes. Because if I reveal more, I'm saying marriage must fall. Yes. So I'm praying that God must bring peace. Amen. You know what has been happening. Yes. I believe there's a restoration today. Ma'am, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. I'm Kucha Lishilu from Timbisa. The man of God located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Okay, the man of God asked, where's my husband? And I said he went home. And then he said, I must pray for my husband. Yes. And how do you feel that today you were located and guided to pray for your husband by the man of God? I'm so happy, I can say, because like everything is not going well in the house. So he said that the devil is attacking our home. So I think God has made a way and everything has been restored. And how would you like to encourage somebody who's going to come across this? I'll say um, if you 
discover any problem in your house or in any aspect of your life, you must trust in God because everything is possible with Him. Amen. Mama, you, you must be ready f to say goodbye to your mother. I'm sorry to tell you this. You hear me? No? Let me ask you, are you ready to say goodbye to your mother? I'm not ready. You're not ready? Yeah, financially. Huh? I'm not ready financially. It's because you, are, you don't have money to bury her? Yes. Can you hear that? You know, some of you, it's not because, you know, I, I, I believe this is the situation. It's the situation, even at home. Let us all stretch our hands to this lady. Let's pray for her mom. As I'm saying, I'm asking her if she's ready to, to bury the mother. The mother is very sick. Pray for her, wherever you are, pray. I, I was trying to ignore her. I wanted to ignore her, ignore her, ignore her, but I, I don't feel good. I'm not feeling good. I know I can ignore. Because I want to hear what God is saying. That brother, brother, who's driving Toyota? Alex. Huh? Come here. This mic is like it's not working. Let's pray for this lady. Who's driving Toyota Hilux? Uh, it's my brother, my older brother. Your older brother? Yes. You must pray for him. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. Because I'm seeing a man who's also believing in the real estate business. Yes, it is. Yes. You know, I'm seeing a man who's trying to buy different houses. Yes. yes. And build rooms, apartments. You must be careful of sugar diabetes. You hear me? Yes. Was, this is a sickness of the family. Amen. And it has killed many people. Amen. So you, God has healed you today. Amen. Thank you, God. Because you are seeing that the sickness on you. Amen. So you won't die. God has healed you. Amen. Let's allow this man to prosper. Amen. Amen. Let's allow this man to prosper. Amen. But the Jesus. plan of Satan is to eliminate him. Yeah. You know, he has been going through the West yes. about marriage. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. Mm. He has been going through the most <laughs> in his marriage. Yeah. The issue of marriage. Let me put yeah. it that way. Yes. So now yes. I believe God can help him. He's not a person of church. You know, he's he believes, but he believes. <laughs> so I believe wherever he is, I'm praying for him in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. That let the grace of God help him in these issues of marriage. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You're free. Mama, come here. Mama is afraid to bury her mom because she does not have money. Let me tell you, you, you don't become a Christian to avoid death. Can I say that again? You don't become what? To avoid what? Death. To us, as Christians, it's not death. You sleep, you wake up on the other side. You understand? I was telling people who were saying, why Jesus could not help himself when he was on the cross? No, all of us, there's a set time. There's a time that has been set for you to live. Eh? Yeah. Or you want to live here forever? There's a set time, set time for you to leave us. 
Even us, even me. There will be a time where I have to go now. To go to glory to the Father. You know, after one of our senior prophets died, many people were speaking stories. Hey, why he didn't pray for himself? No, there's a set time for everyone. Even uh, me, my time is coming. Why well, I have to sleep my last sleep? You cannot say why he didn't pray for himself. No. Anyone who's breathing on this earth must sleep and never wake up again. It has to be that way. Whether you like it, whether you're a Christian or non-Christian. But to you, as a Christian, you, you sleep, you don't die. But sinners die. If you're a sinner, you're going to find me at the gate of, of heaven. Or be say, when I left. So, Mama, gather strength. We have prayed for your mom. I'll tell you how Satan was to afflict you. I will tell you. You see this issue of the spiritual wife. Amen. You know, that's how Satan was to give you the disease. You hear me? Amen. Because of your destiny. Amen. You know, because of the destiny, that's how, because I can see you've been asking yourself, how does Satan want to attack me? This is the spiritual wife Amen. that has made, been making you to suffer Amen. for the longest time ever. Even our businesses are not moving. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. Now, the last thing, remember I said, you must pray, I see a spirit of HIV. You heard what I said? Yeah, it is because of the same spirit. But I was very confused about yes. HIV. That's what I'm telling you. The same spirit that is sleeping with you every day. You know, many people have got HIV. It's not like it's a real HIV. Okay. You know, there are many people that are dying of HIV. It's not like it's a real HIV. You know, from young age, there have been a spiritual wife on you. I don't know. Dealing with you, dealing with you, everything now has stopped. Yes. Because of true. the same spirit, you have prayed, you have fasted. There's no change. Yeah, that's very true, Prophet. So that's the last kick that the enemy wants to do on you. Amen. So we have to prevent it before the enemy do it. Amen. That's what I was telling you. If now your time, you know this man, isn't it? Amen. Come here, sir. Come. You know he has been telling you about a spiritual wife. Spiritual wife. Now, there's a plan of God with this man. Because God wants to use him. Amen. God wants to use this man, but Amen. with the demon of the family, Satan will never allow that. That's very true. Yes. I'm telling you. Amen. And how he will do it is to give him HIV. Amen. That's, cool. that's, what, that's how Satan will do it. And later, he will lose his life because of the calling. Amen. I'm just telling him this because. I can see you have been praying. Ask yourself, how does Satan want to afflict me? Amen. The spiritual wife. Amen. If the same spiritual wife that is destroying your marriage. Amen. But destroying your marriage. That's very true. Destroying your marriage. Very true. If it's not because of this man and other people that have been praying for you, you are not supposed to, supposed to be married. You know, because Satan has been fighting. So now what do we do? We pray so that what is coming must be prevented. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you. Or one day you'll tell, you'll come and tell me that you went there, you check your blood. They'll say you're HIV positive. Amen. That I know is that I was diagnosed with STIs from 93 up to 2013. That's what I'm telling you. I know. Yeah. Those 80 STIs, they've been there for a long time. Yeah, that's very true. Can you see that? Yeah. It's a spirit of sickness on you. Later on, 
they will say it's HIV. Okay. So, all the plans of Satan are destroyed. Amen. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. So now, because of the calling that God wants to give you, we will pray for you. We won't allow that. Amen. Amen. We won't allow that. Amen. Amen. You know, this man has done everything. Pray, pray, pray fast. You know, have you ever fasted, but a, a, a spiritual wife come to sleep with you when you're on fasting? Hush. Fella, you can stop now. You're on fasting and you see someone sleeping with you. He has done everything. Today you have met Jesus. Amen. Today you have met Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And that God has healed you. Amen. You are blessed. You are blessed. Because I can tell you, you are blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. I can tell you that if he goes and check, they'll say, Are ah, you? You are very sick. Because of the same spirit, spiritual issues. Because when God wants to use his people, they must be afflicted Amen. by problems. There's no one that God is using, and we find they don't have attacks. It's not possible. So you're blessed. God said that you're blessed. There's a job God will give you. You hear me? Yes. Because I see you've been praying to receive a job. Yeah, permanent it, one. Huh? Permanent one. A permanent job. Because mm. the one that you are having is like you are just suffering. It's a contract. Yes. And it's I'm going sick. to expire this year. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Yes, thank you. You know, I, I'm here because God says I must speak with you. Yes. So I'm telling you, there's a job that God wants to give you. Because already you're starting to stress now. Because it looks like these people won't renew your contract. So don't worry. Yes. Don't cry. I see a job coming to you. Thank you, Jesus. Ma'am, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Mrenden Nemandiwe. I'm from Soweto Protegle. Today during the service, the man of God located you and spoke to you. Kindly please tell us what he said to you and confirm it. Man of God prophet Andres came to me and said uh, he can see job. God is about to give me a job. And then because he can see me starting to complain, struggling at work. And then I confirmed the prophecy to be true because I am doing an internship which is going to end this, this year. So that was true. And uh, I was beginning to, to stress, like complaining what is going to happen because he said to us, the, the way it is contract is go, it's not going to be extended. So I confess, confirm the prophecy to be true and represent true. Yeah. And how do you feel that today you were located and the man of God ministered upon your life? To be honest with you, now I'm released because I was stressing what, I, what is going to happen next year, what is going to happen December and November because this year, uh, uh, August, my contract is going to end. Yeah, that was it. I was praying every day. God, give me a permanent post. God, give me a permanent post. I'm tired of contract and I'm tired of apprenticeship. I want a permanent post. Yeah. yeah. And how would you encourage somebody with a similar situation as you were before you received prayer today? God is there. I just want to say you can come to Charis Missionary Church, you know, I believe God will locate you, you know, I, I, I came here believing or God will locate me and God knows what I want, yeah.